Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the MLG Studios here in New York City. We're watching some game battles, StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm action here. Of course, we're currently covering semifinal number one. We have two semifinals to get through and then the final to see who takes home a million dollars. Not quite that much. <laughs> but we're having fun here. Of course, it's Ire versus RSVP in semifinal number one. Let's jump into game number two. In this best of three, we're in the top right hand location. We have the guy who must win two in a row. He looked fairly strong in the last game, but uh, not showing a lot of patience. We'll have to see how he adjusts on Star Station. He is Ire. His opponent in the bottom left hand location, the blue, the blue Protoss player, up 1 0. He's one win away from advancing to the final of this game battle's extravaganza. He is RSVP. You know what that stands for? Uh, yeah, it's it's when you were Well, I know, I know what it is, but do you know oh, what it stands for? I, I don't actually. It's uh, French, maybe. No. Return sender. Very pretty. No, I I, I think it's That's it's what it is, man. Look no. it up. No, I'm I don't just kidding. Um, do you so, know what SCV means? Oh, I used to. I used to. I did a comment of the day today. My where my StarCraft lore is is. It, uh, I'm, I'm a failure. Clutch would be ashamed of me right now. Space construction vehicle. Yes, that sounds right. So the reason I know that is because uh, we have people who watch it on YouTube, and they put it, they put, they write in the comments on YouTube. And remember, we were talking about uh, SCV, and someone in the comments that is correct said SCV means science or space construction vehicle. Yeah, it, so it thank makes you, total sense. thank you to that yeah. person. Thank you, people. Uh, YouTube comments are a great way to yeah. interact. Yes. So if you're watching this on YouTube. Put those comments down below. You guys are awesome. All right. Well, one thing I want to say about this map in PvP. Okay. This any map that's four spawns like this, like Whirlwind, um, like uh, in Tomb Valley. I mean, we don't use that anymore, but use an example. What's the most awesome thing to do, especially in PvP? If you ever have mobility advantage, that means you have air control phoenixes, or you okay. have map control blink stalkers. Yes. You take the corner expansions. Yes. And then you just base race your opponent all day, and there's nothing they can do. Like if you have mobility advantage and you just take the corners, wow. any movement they make to one of the bases, you just counterattack in your main, and you're willing to trade base for base because you have so many, right? And you're so spread out. Uh, and then if they send a small force, because units are fast, as long as your scout is good, you just intercept that small force and kill it. So they have to commit. They commit their their mains vulnerable. So I want to see if either player goes this route. Right. It's not something you see super often. It's fun to try out. Yeah, I, I, I've seen a couple of Korean pros win games convincingly because of uh -huh. that in, in PvP uh, on, on these four corner style maps. Uh, the trick is you have to get the map control first and you have to make sure you keep it, which can't be tricky if you're investing a lot into expansions. So like PvP, the two examples that are pretty obvious at the top of my head is like Colossus versus either Phoenix or like Song. Yes. Um, and you know, it can actually be a lot of fun if you like open Phoenix and then put a Nexus somewhere on the, somewhere on the map. And your opponent's going Colossus or, or something. Just make a billion Phoenixes and win. Yep. And you supplement it with Zelts right. to help. Because if you just have pure Phoenixes, your opponent can actually just say, oh, all right, I'm losing my probes. I'll kill you. Uh, but if even you just have a couple Zelts mixed in there, what you can do is normally when you do a Zelt run by, your opponent warps in Zelts. But if your Phoenixes are in there too, any Zelts they warp in, you pick off, and your Zelts can go to town and actually kill their buildings. So a lot of cool stuff there. This is a really fast Dark Shrine from this is, our this is blue Protoss very player. fast. RSVP. And you know what? Uh, because he got that sentry so early, similar to last game, he's going to have double force fields. Which can his should... probe go make a pylon, though? Was he oh, seen? I think it snuck through. Yeah, I think he just snuck I don't think there. he saw it. I don't think he did. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Because... Oh, wait. The Mothership. Oh, the mo is it Mothership Corps going to see it? Oh. oh. Oh, no. It just barely missed it. Wait. Oh, it's his... the question is, did he see it, though? There's a difference I mean, it definitely his... went through his vision. Right, but... Was he looking at the yeah, mini-map? And, and what's he going to do at this point anyway? Looks like the stalkers are retreating. So he scouts. He sees the top of the ramp. And what That's this tells sentry him... Sentry is done. For him. Yep. Um, this tells him one or two things. Oh, he's going to lose no both sentries. Yep. They're, bo they're both dead. They're both dead. Uh, this is why... I mean, the thing is that second sentry could have ran. It was on the edge of the time warp. It could have easily walked out. But uh, it's all right. Losing both. Um, I mean, ideally, you wouldn't. So, so do, he, you think, do you think Iron knows what's up? He knows it's either Phoenix or DT. But last game, it was the exact same opening, right? Two Zelts, two sentries off a gateway, and it was Phoenix. So he might be assuming Phoenix as well this game. 
Um, he probably is, because that's that's what's in his mind. Well, then why would the pylon go try to sneak out across the map? I feel like if you see that... I mean, it could just be for scouting or... Okay, you want a pylon anyway. Um, he but yeah, shimmer? he's going to be... Okay, now Did he's getting his shimmer? own Stargate. Is he going to hit the force field? He, he's actually not dead if he hits the force field. Is he dead? Uh, he's dead. Okay. All right, he's dead. All right. Um... Well, wait, wait. He has a Dark Shine too. He has his own DTs. Uh, this R RCP has a Robo though. Three fourths were done. So, uh, yeah, this was just a simple like, uh, you know, you got to account for DTs in your play. I mean, he had time to react to it. He, even if he had no scouting for the force fields, well, he would have had time to to get a um, Oracle out. That would have worked. But as it is now, I mean, there's, at least there's only one DT. Where's, where's no, there's this? another one chopping up stalkers oh, and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, well, he needs an Oracle right away. That's oh, look at this from RCP, one. though. Check out what he did. Isn't that cute? He knows DTs are coming. He he triple pylon walled his ramp. Uh, Help him by time. Yep. Yep. This might be an early end. Or yeah. late end. I mean, he made it to the semifinal. That's true. Which is probably better than I'd do. Maybe. You never know. You never know. You never know. Maybe I'll... I don't think I'm allowed to play in these. Probably. Conflict of interest or something. But no, getting to the semifinal is definitely nothing to be ashamed about. There's the G. From Iron. And Single RSVP team. takes the 2-0. Uh, kind of a build order victory there in game two. Uh, I Is that, it's not. It wasn't a build order victory. Like the, the pressure build scouted it out. He knew it was either Phoenix or DT. And then he's like, well, it, it, it's like if you. Um, Wait. It, it's like if you see a scary monster. Oh, so it's just a bad build. And then you just like cover your eyes. Right. And you're like, it's not there. Uh, right? You, you have to account for possibilities. His or if you're playing build... hide and seek and you just cover your eyes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I mean they, they can still find you. Right. You, you, just because you. Yeah. yeah. You can't be like, well, I'm just gonna assume DTs aren't in the game because that happens. That'll happen. I mean, his OP was fine. His pressure knew it was tech, so he knew it was going on. But didn't react as yeah. optimally as he could have. Yeah. Uh, so RSVP taking the 2-0. You're gonna see him in the final coming up next. The two players are Turtle. La Tortuga. La Tortuga. You know the guy from Breaking Bad? No. Uh, watched like three episodes and got okay. bored of that show. I mean, he's I not, he's not a major character. He's not that. a major character. Okay. He's, minor. he's only in a couple of Against? Monster. Monster. Not the Korean Zerg pro. This is a North American. Right. Yeah. Uh, on team MVP. Yes. I've actually met him. Well, we no, both that, met him. That's not the monster he's playing. Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but that's the monster we're... All right, guys. We're going to go into the next semifinal after a quick break, a quick commercial. And, of course, congrats to RCP. He's going to be the final. Of course, the final will come a little bit later. But first, we got semifinal number two. Stay tuned.